Hi, if you've watched our last few videos, you would know we've been looking at the different parts of the face. In this video, we're going to look at how do all these parts fit together to make a portrait. For the tutorial, you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. You can click on the link in our description below to download the step-by-step -step guide that I'm working through in the tutorial. Let's get started. Right, the first thing that we're going to do is fold our page in half. So you're first going to fold it in half horizontally and then vertically. You could measure it out and just find the midpoint of the page and draw a light line with your ruler if you didn't want to fold the page. We're going to start with a vertical line. This line is going to be 18 centimeters long and the first nine centimeters should be above our horizontal fold and then the second nine centimeters below. So this fold line is dividing our line in half. So just line it up and this should be a nice light line. We don't want to see it at the end. It's just going to be a guide to help us draw the face. Along our horizontal fold line, you are going to draw a line that is 12 and a half centimeters long or about five inches if you're using inches. And again, it should be divided in half by the center line. So 12.5, that would be 6.25. Sounds a bit technical now, um, but it will make sense later. Right. Now this line that we've made 12 and a half centimeters, or about five inches, we're going to divide into five equal parts. So if you're doing inches, that's really easy, just once one inch each. If you've done centimeters, we would do two and a half centimeter increments. 7.5, 7.5, 7.5. Now the reason that we've done this is that your eye can fit across your face five times and the average eye is two and a half centimeters or an inch wide. So this line that we've just drawn here is actually going to be our eye line. Now how it works on your face is you have the width of your eye, then you'll have an eye here. So at the middle of that, in the middle of this eye line, we can draw a pupil then we would have the gap between our two eyes then our other eye in the middle of that line I'm drawing a pupil and then the gap between the edge of your eye and the edge of your face okay if you want to you can um, draw the eyes in so I'm just doing this to give us a guard right now something else that is really amazing is that your nose is as wide as your eyes. So this can help us work out how wide to make our nose. The nose fits perfectly between the two eyes. So you could just draw two really light lines going down the face between the eyes and we have the width for our nostrils and our nose. But um, from this eye line down to the the bottom of your vertical line, that's the distance between your eyes and your chin. Now halfway between your eyes and your chin is your nose. So if we use this line here, we know it's nine centimeters. Half of nine is four and a half centimeters. So we have a line here to mark off the bottom of our nose. If you watched our video on the nose, you'll know that you can draw a nose by just having a large circle in the middle and two smaller circles on each side. And if you use these measurements, you'll have a space to fit your nose in. So you could just draw a little nose there. Now next is our mouth. Your mouth is as wide as the distance between your two pupils. So if your pupils are looking straight ahead, you can draw two lines going straight down and you know that is how wide your mouth is. It's just 
amazing to think actually how our bodies are made and that everybody's face fits this um, ratio. Okay. You again need to remember to draw these lines really lightly. We don't want to see all these lines all over the face when we're done. Now that we have a nose, we know that halfway between our nose and our chin, we will find our mouth. So if we measure that out, it should be four and a half centimeters. Quick maths, that would be 2.25 centimeters. So we have a little line for where our mouth needs to be. This will be the bottom of the mouth. Now, some people's faces, when you look at them, their mouths are slightly higher or slightly lower. So if you're copying a particular picture, you would need to look carefully at that person's face and decide if they fit in with this, um, this rule. But it gives us a general rule for where the mouth needs to fit in. Okay, we also know from our previous video that the two high points of the mouth fit in with the two nostrils. So we have a couple of markers that will help us draw the shape of our mouth. I'm just going to draw a quick mouth in here. Not going to be a perfect one. Right. Once you have all of these um, facial features drawn, you can draw the person's face around it. Everyone's got slightly different face shapes, um, but generally it's an upside down egg. So across the top of your head, it's quite rounded, almost like a semicircle. Um, and it gets narrower towards the chin. If it looks like there's too much space on the top of the head, it's because you need to remember um, that a lot of hair will be drawn in on top of that. So if your person's forehead is looking really large, remember you haven't drawn your hair in yet. We've just drawn the, the shape of the person's head. So once you add the hair in, it will make their forehead look a more normal size. And those are some simple rules for drawing a portrait. If you'd like to know more about how to draw each of these individual parts of the face, you can watch the videos that are in the links below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next video.